Talking of laddie culture, let's watch a lad uh, in his prime. I hope you've had uh, or haven't had your supper yet or your dinner yet, because uh, hold your breath, watch this. I'm just where I see the love she sees a friend. What will it take for her to see the man behind the and fight for me? Oh. Cool. Oh, that is uh, the, of course, Matt Hancock, the one and only, displaying what's known as his Ken a G. That's Ken from Barbie. He's miming to a song from the Barbie movie. In case you haven't seen it, called "I'm Just Ken on a Beach." I just don't know why. Kevin. The man has. He's, no having, a, he's having a midlife crisis, he isn't he? Can somebody, <laughs> can somebody just give him a job or put him in a box? <laughs> I mean, it's, I mean, it's just ludicrous. He, I mean, is he trying to be as bad as he comes across? Is that the man, it? The man has no self-awareness, and he tried no. to get a job. I mean, the UN almost offered him a job, but then he blew that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even think it's that. I don't even think it's that he has no self-awareness. I think he's just shameless. Uh. Like, even if he's completely aware of how terrible he looks doing all of this stuff. He's obviously just desperate for attention. Well, the thing is, people like, like Matt does he Hancock... Does not have friends? Well, he like, not have any other forms of validation? Yeah, but people like <laughs> Matt Hancock grate on me for a different reason. He is part yeah. of the reason why politics is seen as... is not as respected, or politicians right. are not yeah, as respected. Yeah, I think. Okay. And that's the reason. I don't care that he's doing this cringeworthy stuff. I care that someone like him, as, you know, a sitting MP, could have gone on a reality TV yeah. show and felt no shame about they, it. That should more, be bad. Well, the more... That should be bad. The more well, celebrities exactly. that end yeah. up in the jungle, the more we could... Sorry, celebrity politicians end up in the jungle. Of course, the more we could be seeing this and more uh, politicians rumoured ex-prime ministers and the like. Now, talking of the Barbie movie, the Barbie movie has grossed a billion dollars at the box office. That is a, <laughs> it's a female director. Uh, it makes her the first solo female director filmmaker with a billion dollar film. Uh, it, other hits from the studio as well. Warner Brothers is, of course, um, they've had Harry Potter and everything, but this is one of the fastest. 17 days it took to gross a billion dollars. And we just want to remind you that some people in the media uh, were called the Barbie Wingers. They didn't believe this movie would be a success. They thought it was an attack on men, on the patriarchy. They thought it was offensive. Uh, let's take a listen to them. The thing is just a mess. It doesn't make any sense. And literally the only way you can have a happy world is if the women ignore the men and the men ignore the women. That seems to be the, the final outcome of this film. All men in the film are either bigots or idiots. Now is Barbie a smash the patriarchy feminist film? Yes it is. The real world and all the men in it are shown to be universally irredeemably horrible. Uh, uh, something strikes me, uh, Kevin, I'll come to you, in all of this, is that it, all the critics who said it wouldn't gross a billion dollars seem to have forgotten that half of the world's population is female. So even if no men go and watch it, you're still going to get... A... I know, this, this bloke went to watch it, but who, who says feminism doesn't pay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, ka-ching, ka ka-ching, ka ka-ching! No, no. First of all, that's complete... As a lifelong Barbie fan, I will say two things. First of all, this film had the 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 the, the <laughs> brand to to fall back on. This the Barbie film has had over forty animated films and hundreds of, com uh, of 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 books released about it. It had a huge fan base. It's had a fan base since the nineteen sixties. So they obviously had you know they were propelled by the brand. It's strong they've franchise. Made other Barbie so films hold on, secondly, that haven't done not, very not well. Not real life. Secondly, the production budget was actually less than the marketing budget. So that just goes mm. to show if you have a massive brand and you can pump a lot of money into mm. your marketing, it doesn't matter if you've created a trash heap of a film, which is what it was. Was, and I will forever stand by that. <laughs> I mean, I'm a woman, and I still haven't seen it. And I don't, please, please do not. I kind of don't plan to go and see it. it like, no, it's I just race. doesn't. Oh, I uh, know that everyone is obsessed with this idea and thinks that it's like a, a feminist epic. But again, it's not my kind of feminism. Like, well, for me... Well, you might smile think, and enjoy it. No, I mean, it's like, it's like the idea that we're going to dismantle the patriarchy and deal with all of these issues that we discuss so much in the show by having, like, some I, female CEOs or, like, a film done by a yeah. woman that makes a billion dollars is absurd. I don't think anybody's arguing... Like, I don't think anybody's the, arguing can I, can that, I though, are they? I just say the I mean, film yeah. wasn't a feminist <laughs> film. It was, it was a, a satire of some sort of feminist abomination. Yeah. Now, we don't necessarily agree on anything, a lot of things, but... <laughs> no, <laughs> but, 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 right, but, but we do have some overlap in our frustrations with regards to how, the, you know, the, the issue of feminism is dealt with, particularly in the Western world. We used to call them, like, Western idealist feminists or whatever we call them. And you have a point. I actually, unfortunately, have seen the film, so a lot of your concerns are valid. It's not a feminist <laughs> film. It is, it, it, it is just piggybacking yeah. off the massive brand yeah. that is Barbie. On right? that bombshell, on that bombshell, we have to wrap it there.